Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are thinking about moving to New Zealand, traveling to New Zealand, or doing like a working holiday, you are not gonna wanna miss this video. So you're moving to New Zealand, how exciting. How exciting. So this video I wanted to make because I know what it's like to move to New Zealand. I've done it twice. Oh my gosh, we're crazy. But I also have been working with clients for almost two years now helping people move here. If you don't know, I have KiwiAmericans.com. I have a consulting business where you can meet one-on-one -on -one with me. And today we're gonna go through the three stages of which I generally meet with people in all three stages. <laughs> and I've also come up with this training hub. So I've taken all of the questions and the things that people really want to know over the last two years with my clients and put it into a training hub and it just you kind of come in and you just do trainings on you know how do I set up a bank account how do I set up my life or I'm thinking about moving there what do I need to do for this and it just kind of answers all of your questions it also has a community on there where you can talk to other people in the same situation that you are and that's really great and then there's also Q and A's every month with me where you can ask all of your questions so it's kind of an all for one not expensive it's there for you to get all of the information that you need but i wanted to take all the information and share that with you today that there's generally three stages so when you're thinking about moving to new zealand and you're in one of these stages you know you're normal that other people are in it <laughs> and this is kind of how they feel and kind of uh, i'm just going to give a little insight onto each stage and some helpful information so that's what we're going to talk about today so the three stages that people go through when thinking about moving to New Zealand are this. Number one is, I'm thinking about moving to New Zealand. Hmm, how do I look into that? What do I do? The second stage is, oh my goodness, I got my visa approved or I got a job or whatever the situation and now I'm actually gonna move there and now it's a whole different set of questions. <laughs> and then the third stage is, I'm here, I'm in New Zealand, now what do I do? So those are the three stages that we're gonna cover. So number one, the first stage, I'm just considering it. Does this make sense for me? Can I even do it? How do I do it? Coming to New Zealand. So this is the stage where I end up talking to most people one on one because it's kind of like, unless you like can get a lot of specific questions answered, you can't really move on to the next ones. And so if you're just like wondering what to do, you know, kind of the process, let me just kind of overview that for you. So number one, you need to go onto the New Zealand immigration website and figure out if you qualify, what kind of visa you want, how many points, so this is points, you kind of do your expression of interest. And then once you get picked for that, you get into the visa that you're applying for, which is a lot more work. <laughs> but you do your expression of interest first, you go on the website. I'm not allowed to give you immigration advice on this channel or ever. Um, <laughs> but if you just go on the site, it has everything. Now I have recommended immigration lawyers, consultants in the past, but my official stance on this is that you don't need one. There's extenuating circumstances where it does make sense for people, but in general, everything you need is on the immigration site. And so you don't really need to go any other place. We never used any outside resources and it was pretty straightforward, but I am here to answer questions about it or to share my experience. But yes, you can get an immigration consultant, but my official advice is you don't really need it. It was fine for us. If you're not like really into the details maybe, or you have like a business that you're moving, then that would make sense. But in general, that's what I suggest. And in that stage, generally people have questions like, should I do this? Is this right for my family? Can I really leave friends and family behind? You know, and it ends up being just a, like a talk about like, what's life like in New Zealand in comparison? And I'm happy to share you guys, share all of my experience with you. As you can see on this whole channel, I just am completely honest about my experience. And of course, it's just my experience. That doesn't mean if you come here that you're gonna have the same experience because I'm just sharing mine. But I think that that's helpful. It's better than nothing, right? And so a lot of people are just, it's more of a, of a, of a big idea. And okay, so this is a big idea. These are all the questions and concerns I have. I'm concerned about the education. I'm concerned about the healthcare. I'm concerned about, you know, being so far away. And so we kind of talk about that 
um, and in the trading hub answers kind of a lot of those kind of questions and broad ideas and then once you go through the immigration i always suggest to people that they actually go and apply you don't have to come if they let you in you don't have to come and when they let you in they generally give you like a year to get here so you don't have to feel like oh my gosh my visa is approved now i gotta now i can come right <laughs> so you have some time time's on your side okay so the second stage so you have decided to come to new zealand you got a visa or a job which i highly recommend that if you're coming with your family that you have a job right and most people do there are families that have moved here with just a work visa and then just kind of hoping they get work uh, because that's a lot easier to get than say the skilled migrant visa um, but if you're moving a family it's good to have both so what you want to do is you want to be you know in the beginning you want to apply for your visa but you also want to be looking for work at the same time and so once you get the visa then it's easier to get work it's also if you get work it's easier to get the visa it's a little bit of a catch-22 when you're in the middle of it but now you're coming here so then the questions are should I sell my car should I sell my house what should I bring can I set up any accounts ahead of time can I rent a place ahead of time where should I rent like where should I move so many things so many questions can my kids go to school then you have families and you have the whole kid thing and setting up communities. So now it's kind of changed in your mind, right? You've gone from this idea to reality and like, what do I need to do? I've done it two times. I've done it. I've moved to New Zealand. I've moved back to the US and I moved back to New Zealand. So I know how to like sell your stuff, get organized, get here. It's all in the training hub if you want to check that out. Otherwise, you could reach out to me because a lot of people just need to talk it through and like what is, and that's what I'm here for. Because you know what? Frankly, I would have loved to have had someone to talk to about this when I came. And so that's what I'm just kind of offering to other people. Now, in the third stage, you're here. You've arrived in New Zealand. Oh my goodness. Where do I start? Where do I start to set up my life? So most likely you already have a job. If you need help finding a job, I have services for that. I actually have some um, resume CV templates coming out soon that's going to help you guys. So you're here. I'm telling you, the first thing you need to do is just breathe the air. The air in New Zealand is just so clean and so wonderful. Just take a breath, okay? Because what I'm about to tell you is truth, okay? It is not hard to set up life here. Now, of course, relationships take time and those can be harder, but I'm talking about if you need to buy a car, set up your bank account, da -da -da -da, get up into school, it's not that hard. You'll be surprised <laughs> how easy it is. But in my training, I might overview all of this for you. I go through like where to buy a car, and then tons of resources are on there as well, depending on where you are in the country that you can work with to do this. And so, yeah, setting up life can be exciting, but there's always just like a lot to do. Like, especially if you are coming to the Wellington area, definitely reach out because like I have all specific contents for that. Like if you need to get a refrigerator or a washer or dryer and all these different things, like I can just recommend a ton. Also, it's like hard to know where to buy things. And so I can, on the training hub, I overview like this is where you buy this and this and this is what kind of prices you should expect and wait for a sale maybe on this place. So if you're from the U.S. and you're used to the Kohl's sale, you definitely don't want to buy anything at Briscoe's in New Zealand without it being on sale. So it's kind of the same thing. So yeah, so the third step is like you're here setting up. Um, a lot of times I have coffee with people. If you're in the area, I'd be happy to do that and just kind of catching up and seeing how you are because then there's the whole cultural adjustment and you're going to come here and you're going to feel like, oh, this is the same just a little different, a little different <laughs> accent, <laughs> a little different words that they use for things. But over time, as you're living here, you're gonna notice it is actually quite different. And so that's what I go through on the third stage in my training hub about like really understanding work culture, really understanding culture and what's acceptable here and what isn't, how to make friends, uh, that kind of thing, because it's it's a little bit different. <laughs> and I didn't really see it until I had been here for a significant time. So now that I've been in New Zealand for seven years, I see things differently and I understand it. And also actually just having my TikTok account um, where I just like put out like the differences between US and New Zealand, I get a lot of information from New Zealanders about, oh, you're wrong about that, or actually that's different in the South Island, or 
So all those little tidbits, I've really kind of fine tuned because you're always coming in from your own perspective, right? Your own understanding. And so having that as a resource with people like correcting me, which I actually love because like, I don't know what I don't know. And they just like kind of tell me like, oh, this or or kind of the history of New Zealand where it never used to be this way or this is, you know, a new thing. And we used to do oh, I'm like, oh, OK, it all makes sense. Like all the details are kind of falling in place. So that uh, that that's a really the trading hub is a great resource. Also, when you just arrive in New Zealand, if you're coming to New Zealand, reach out to me. I am here to help you. And so you can check out my resources. I'll put them in the description below. Subscribe, hit the bell if you like this video uh, because I put out videos every week just kind of sharing my journey and my experience here and any information that I think would be helpful for you guys. And I will see you next week.